Hey guys, welcome to my weekly channel. I'm here to do a fifth or fourth annual of my Blue Wave Collection Overview, the 2017 edition. Before we go on to show my shelves, um, this shelf is most alphabetical order, and this shelf is very special. This is the genre. So I have my Criterion, Disney, Superhero, Sci-Fi. That's mostly that shelf. This one is all variety, you know, mixed things in alphabetical order. If you're curious, you want to know how many blues I own in my collection, well, in my app, I, I currently have 534 blues in my collection. That's how I've been collecting for five years. Crazy! So this might be a long video, so sit back and relax, and I hope you enjoy this collection overview. The 2017 edition. The first shelf is all alphabetical order, so let's get right into it. Band of Brothers, The Pacific, Game of Thrones, the complete first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth season. I'm so looking forward for season seven that's coming out this July, I believe. Fantastic show, you have not seen the show. Two Detective, the complete first season. Ben Hur and the Ten Commandments, The Division Code and Angel of Demons, Brothers, Enemy and Source Code, A Mile. 12 Years a Slave, 21 Jump Street, 22 Jump Street, The 40 Years Old Virgin, 300, 500 Days of Summer, My Guilty Pleasure, 2012, American Sniper, Believe It or Not, It's Still Sealed, I have not rewatched it ever since, I've seen theaters, American Graffiti, American Hustle, American Pie 4 movie collection include American Pie, American Pie 2, American Wedding, and American Reunion. American Psycho. Anchorman The Legend of Ron Burgundy. Anchorman 2 The Legend Continues. Apocalypse Now. Argo. The Artist. If you love La La Land, you probably love this. The Austin Power trilogy includes Austin Power International Love Man of Mystery, The Spy Who Shocked Me, and Gold Member. The Aviator. The Baba Duke. The Birds, Birdcage, Birdman, Big, Blazing Saddles, The Blue Brothers, Born on the 4th of July, Braveheart, Bridesmaids, The Burbs, Casablanca, The 70th Anniversary, Castaway, Child Play, Christine, Chronicle, Class of the Titans, Cleopatra, A Clockwork Orange, Clue, The Movie, Collateral, The Conjuring, The Conjuring 2, Creed, Cujo, Still Factory Sealed, Dances of the, of the Wolves, The Dark Crystal, Dead Poor Society, Deep Blue Sea, Deep Water Horizon, The Departed, The Descendants, Detroit Rock City, The Die Hard Box Set includes, includes Die Hard, Die Hard 2, Die Hard with Avengers, and Leave Free or Die Hard. Not include this, the bad one. All four good movies. Dirty Dancing, Django Unchained, Dumb Breed, Donnie Darko, Dumb and Dumber, The Edge of Seventeen, Escape from New York, Everybody Wants Some, Fantastic Beasts and Went to Find Them. The Harry Potter franchise includes Social Stone, Chamber of Secrets, Principal Azkaban, Goblet of Fire, Or the Phoenix, and the Half Blood Prince, and the Deadly Hollows Part 1 and 2. Fargo, The Falls in the Stars, Fences, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, A Few Good Men, Fight Club, and I just told about the Fight Club, so I should be dead right now. Flight, Forrest Gump, Buff Catcher, Full Metal Jacket, Fury, Gangs of New York, Ghostbusters and Ghostbusters 2, The Gift, Godzilla, Gone Baby Gone, Gone Girl, Gone Win the Win, Ah, oh, fantastic, Goosebumps, Good World Hunting, The Goonies, Gladiator, The Grapes of Wrath, The Grand Budapest Hotel, Still waiting for the Criterion edition for this. Gremlin 2, The Green Mile, The Grey, Hexar Ridge, My Other Guilty Pleasure, Hairspray, A Part of the Daily Holiday Target exclusive with the extra bonus that that is not including that set. The Hateful Eight, The Heat, Her, The Hobbit and On a Special Journey, The Desolation of Smile, and The Battle of Five Armies, as well as the aesthetic cut of the Hobbit trilogy. Hoosers, Hook, Horrible Bosses, and Horrible Bosses 2. We got The Hung Games, Catch a Fire, Mocking Jay Part 1 and Part 2. Hugo, The Imitation Game, Inception, Indian Jones, and The Raiders of the Lost Ark, Indian Jones and the Temple of Doom, Indian Jones and the Last Crusade, part of my favorite out of the trilogy, Inglorious Bastards, Insidious, 
in Serious Chapter 2 and in Serious Chapter 3. Insomnia, The Internship, The Intouchables, It, the miniseries, I'm totally looking forward to the new we made that's coming out this fall. It follows Jack Reacher, Jack and the Giant Slayer, the James Bond collection, I believe Dr. No, all the way to I believe Skyfall. Skyfall and Spectre that completes all the James Bond films. Jaws, what can we say about this movie? Classic. Jerry Maguire, the John Hughes yearbook collection includes The Breakfast Club, Sitting Candles, and real science. John Wick, I'm totally looking forward to the new blue that's coming out, John Wick Chapter 2. Jumanji, not looking forward to the remake. Jurassic Park, Jurassic Park 2 The Lost World, and Jurassic World. My favorite being Jurassic Park, obviously a classic. I mean, this movie will be always a classic to the future. I mean, man, it's an astonished film. Kill Bill Volume 1 and Volume 2 consider a one big film. King Kong the original and King Kong the Peter Jackson version and Kong Skull Island is coming out on Blue Edge shortly. The King Speech still factory sealed have not watched it. Knocked Up La La Land masterpiece. David Bowie's Labyrinth Last Action Hero. Lawrence of the Arabia. A League of Their Own. Les Miserables. Life of Brian. Life of Pi. The Little Rascals. Lights Out. Of course, my favorite trilogy of all time. The Lord of the Rings. The Fellowship of the Ring. The Two Towers. And the Return of King being my favorite out of the whole trilogy. And this is the theatrical cut. And of course, the antenna cut of the film. Mad Max. The World Warrior. Mad Max The Beyond Dun and Dun and Mad Max Fury Road. If you're a duck lover, you gotta own Molly and Me, the most depressing ending of all time into a film. Martha, Marcy, May, and Marlene. Me and Earl and a dying girl. Misery. Really want this for a Scream Factory release? Hopefully they do. The Miss Possible collection includes Mission Impossible 1, 2, 3, and Ghost Protocol and Rogue Nation. Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Moonlight should not have won the best picture. Mrs. Doubtfire, Mud. Natural Lapoon, Vacation. Neighbors and Neighbors 2. The Nice Guys, Nightcrawler. No Country for Old Men. Alfred Hitchcock, North by Northwest. Office Space, Once Upon a Time in America. Still have not seen because it's still factory sealed. And it's a very long movie, so I need to find the right mood to watch this movie. Paper Towns, Patriot's Day, Patton, Pee Wee's The Big Adventure, the 2003 or 2004 version of Peter Pan live action, Pineapple Express, Perfect One and Two, two Movie Collection Pack, Planes, Trains, and Honorable Mills, Platoon, Point Break, the Poseidon Adventure, The Prestige, The Princess Bride, Psycho, Pulp Fiction, The Raid, and The Raid 2, Rain Man, Rear Window, The Mondo Stillbook of the Wizard of Dogs, I done not the shout select Blu-ray. Remnant, the movie that Leonardo DiCaprio finally won the Oscar. Robin Hood, Men on Tights. Room, The Sandlot. Saving Private Ryan. Chandler List. School of Rock. Selma. Seven. Santa House. Silver Linings Playbook. The Shallows. We are here with Shrek. The whole story includes Shrek, Shrek 2, Shrek the 3rd, and Shrek Forever After. The Sunshine Redemption, Sherlock Holmes, and Sherlock Holmes 2, The Game of Shadows. Silence of the Lambs, Short Term 12, Spartacus, Speed, Spotlight, Southpaw, Spy, Stand By Me, Steve Jobs, Sarah Compton, Superbad, The Steel Book, Teletega Nights, the, the, the Battle of Wiki Bobby, Taxi Driver, Titanic, This Is The End, Tommy Boy, Top Gun, apparently they're making a sequel, Tropic Thunder, Trumbo, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, number one, two, and that one. Brister, another guilty pleasure, the movie I loved. Uncle Buck, The Walk, We Bought a Zoo, The Way, Way, Way Back, Where the Millers, The Wedding Singer, The Wizard of Oz, Where the Wild Things Are, Whiplash, The Wolf of Wall Street, Young Frankenstein, Zero Dark Thirty, Zodiac, Zoolander, Nine, Coraline, Hard Tang Dragon 1 and 2, Comfort Panda 1, 2, and 3. The Peanuts movie, Lego movie, I cannot wait to own the Lego Batman movie. Legend of the Guardian, the Alka who won the underrated animated movie. The classic, The Childhood, Spain Jam, and Looney Tunes back in action. The Adventures of Tintin, where is the sequel? I need to see the sequel, this is actually really good. 
the SpongeBob Grabbers movie and the SpongeBob movie Sponge Out of Water, The Cabinet of the Dr. Caligari, The Complete Metropolis, Nosferatu, Sunrise, Wings. Now we're going to the section of Christmas movies. The original Christmas classic includes Frog the Snowman, Rudolph the Red Reindeer, and Santa Claus is Coming to Town. This is the original release, not the new re-release. The Ear Without Santa Claus. The Deluxe Holiday Collection includes a Charlie Brown Christmas, it's a great pumpkin Charlie Brown, and Charlie Brown Thanksgiving. How the Grinch Stole Christmas, the original Chuck Jones version, and the live action one Howard and Jim Carrey version. A Christmas Carol, Elf, The Polar Express, Gremlins, Home Alone 1 and 2, The Lost in New York, Ah, uh, Jingle All the Way, Natural Lapoon, Christmas Vacation, The Night Before, and last but not least in this shelf is Krampus. Before we go to the second and third shelf, I was let you know this is the this is the second day of shooting my Blu-ray collection overview. This is all first day. This is all second day, so that's why I'm wearing a different shirt. Just letting you guys know before we now we come into my second and third shelf that includes Criterion, Disney, Superhero, Sci-Fi. That's this is part of my favorite show because this is Combined to my favorite genre, Disney, Criterion, Sci-Fi being one of my favorite genre of all time, and Superhero. I just think it looks cool all together into one, especially Disney, Criterion, and Superhero, because it looks cool on the show. It won't look, it won't look good on that shelf. So if you notice on the top of my shelf is my Disney VHS collection and variety of, of other VHS will be another video for my Disney movie review series. Probably gonna show my Disney VHS collection which I bought from Goodwill or required them since I have a childhood. But that's another video. This this let's talk about the Blu-ray. The first stuff we go to my second show is it's the Criterion Collection. Spy number two, seven samurai. Spy number seven, a night to remember. Spy number thirty, M. Spy number thirty-six, the wages of fear. Spy number fifty-two and 53, Tunjimbo and Chanjuro, Spine number 65, Rushmore, Spine number 91, The Blob, Spine number 116, The Hidden Fortress, Spine number 138, Rashomon, Spine 140, Eight and a Half, Spine number 158, The Royal Bombs, Spine 190, Throne of Blood, Spine 248, Video Drone, Spine 267, Kakemusha, Spine 300, The Life of Quarter of D. Suzo, Spine 336, Days and Confused, Spine 408, Breathless, Spine 450, Bottle Rocket, 539, House, maybe one of my favorite cartoon episodes that I did with the reaction of my friends, 540, The John Jillian Limited, 541, the Night of a Hunter, Spine 543, Charlie Champions, Modern Times, Spine 551, Chronos, Spine 591, Twelve Angry Man, Spine 594, Godzilla or Godzilla, Spine 615, The Gold Rush, Spine 627, The Game, Spine 630, Rosemary Baby, Spine 666, The Devil Backbone, Spine 692 is a mad, 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 mad world, Spine 700, Fantastic Mr. Fox, Spine 709, Red River, Spine 712, Scanners, Spine 776, Moonrise Kingdom, Spine 799, The Kid, Spine 138, Pan Labyrinth and Spine 139 Boyhood. That is all for my content collection. I am so looking forward for the July sale for Barnes and Noble 50% off sale that's coming up probably in July. Studio Ghibli, which is part of Disney, that Disney owns the right to distribute on Blu-ray. So we have Nasika the Valley of the Valley of the Wind, My Neighbor Totoro, Princess Mononoke. Miyazaki Masterpiece, Spirited Away, House Movie Castle, and The Wind Rises. 
you have not seen any of Studio Ghibli if you want to kick off, I highly recommend start watching for the first time My Neighbor Totoro and then you can watch the rest. It's easy to watch, a lot of fun. I adore Studio Ghibli, they're super original, creative, and different. Next up is my Disney collection that includes Disney Walt Disney Animation Studios, Pixar, and Disney Live Action. First up with the Walt Disney Animation Studios that we're going to kick off the mother of everything to start all from Disney. That is Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, Pinocchio, Peter Pan, Sleeping Beauty, 101 Dalmatians, you can see my camera, hi, the original The Jungle Book, The Little Mermaid, and of course, Beauty and the Beast, Aladdin, The Hunchback of Notre Dame, Hercules, Tarzan, Atlantis, The Lost Empire, and Atlantis, Milo's Return. The Jungle Book 2. Now we go to the modern, recent Walt Disney Animation Studio films. That we start off, wreck Ralph, The Overrated Frozen, but I still like it though. Big Hero 6, much better than Frozen, in my opinion, with this Best Buy subcover. And Baymax, come on. Zootopia, or if you want the um, the other countries to Zootropolis the recent most amazing movie and one of my favorite part of my favorite soundtracks in the west of Disney Animation Studios Moana and we end up with the Walt Disney Animation Studios that will be the short film collection volume 1 or 2 but this is the Walt Disney Animation Studio edition we go to Pixar part of my favorite, stu part of my favorite studios of all time we start off with Pixar collection volume 2 and we kick off the, the start of the studio Pixar, Toy Story, part of my favorite trilogy, Next to Lord of the Rings, and Back to the Future. Toy Story 2, as good as the first movie. Finding Nemo, ah, oh, childhood favorites, one of my favorite favorites. The Incredibles, we're finally getting a sequel that's coming out in 2018, probably. Directed the same director who did The Incredibles and Tomorrowland and Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol, so. And the, the Iron Giant, so we're in the good hands. Up. Just the first 10 minutes of the movie, it's still a great movie. Toy Story 3, what a great end to a trilogy, a perfect trilogy, and they're making the fourth movie, so I have no idea how they're gonna go through that story. But Toy Story 3, nonetheless, is really, really good. And made me cry in the theaters as a kid, especially up for the first 10 minutes movie. Brave, which, okay, I guess. I don't consider that Pixar. Monsters University, super underrated. Inside Out, Masterpiece, ah, oh, fantastic. What a great return for Pixar. The Good Dinosaur, which is good, not the greatest. And we end up with Pixar, Finding Dory. Cannot, can't wait for Co Coco that's coming up. And kind of excited for Cars 3, Curious, probably. And, you know, the West of the Future Pixar movie, which I'm super excited for Incredibles 2. Mostly I'm super excited for the Incredibles 2 than the West, just saying. Now we go on to Disney live action films. First off, Mary Poppins. Looking forward for the, the sequel that's coming up starring Lynn manuel Miranda and Emmy Blunt. But still, classic. The Muppets, the original, not the Jason Siegel. Still need to pick that up. Tron, the original sci-fi classic. Awesome movie, really creative and original, different. The first Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl. Just saw the fifth movie. But this one will be always be the, the better, the, 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 the best of all the, the whole franchise. And probably the only one you need to own. I want to get all the pirate films, but on cheap, not higher price. So yeah, this is a classic. I, I saw it in theaters. Love this movie. And I still do love this movie. Tron, your legacy, the most underrated Tron sequel. Um, They canceled the third movie and they're going to be booted with Jerry Little, I believe. Fantastic, I really want to, the story continues with the Flynn's, but we're not gonna get that. Saving with the Banks, really disappointing blue release, but fantastic movie. McFarlane USA. 
Lincoln, I know it's not Disney, but Disney owned Touchdown, so. Once again, Bridge of Spies, Disney owned Touchdown, so. Custom with Disney. Underrated Tomorrowland, except the third out of the film could have done better, but it's still a really good movie for the, for the second and first act. The live action remake of Cinderella. Surprisingly really good, that, that movie's really good. And the most recent, an amazing movie, The Jungle Book. The John Favreau, um, you know, directed film, you know. Can I, I can't wait for the, the Lion King. If you messed up The Lion King, <clears throat> of course, I'm really curious about the new live action, The Lion King remake. Now we're going to the non-Disney sub cover, so Dumbo. Alice in Wonderland. We need to track them down the covers. I really do, because Disney looks great on sub covers. The Aristocats. The Rescuers and the Rescuer Down Under. Oh, so good. Especially the second one. One of the few Disney sequels that's actually good. Robin Hood. Little Stitch, probably my favorite Disney movie of all time, Legend Beauty and the Beast, The Lion King. Awesome movie. And sci-fi. And the most underrated film, that movie I love, is Treasure Planet. A new take on a Pirates movie into a sci-fi. Fantastic. The Pixar collection volume, short film collection volume one. We need to get that tip cover. A Buck Life. Basically Seven Samurai. Monster Inc. and Wally. -E. Heavyweights, ton of fun. Really enjoyed that one. The Haunted Mansion. National Treasure. Need to pick up the sequel and Sky High on Blu ray because I love both the films. They're fun movies. I mean, they're my childhood. I love them. The Chronicles of Narnia, The Lion, The Witch, and The Wardrobe. Prince Cas Caspian and the Voyage of a Dawn Twitter. They're remaking it in a different studio. This is both of them are Disney, this is Fox. Now they're going Sony. Crazy. Just weird, but really good movies, actually. And last but not least, from the Disney non sip covers and overall Disney, Need for Speed. Now we're going to my second favorite genre that is superhero. Let's get right to it. The first three is Sony Spider Man, so we have Sam Raimi Spider Man, Spider Man 2, and Mark Webb, The Amazing Spider Man. I wonder why I haven't owned the rest of the franchise, especially Spider Man 3 and The Amazing Spider Man 2. I wonder why. Because they suck! We have Blade 1 and 2. The X Men franchise, the way I did is by timeline, you know, the way it fits from the past all the way to the future. We start with X-Men First Class, X-Men DC Future Past, the actual cut, and the, and the real cut, X-Men X -Men Apocalypse, X-Men, X2 X-Men United, probably my favorite next to DC Future Past. The Wolverine, Deadpool, thank you Ryan Reynolds for bringing the Deadpool, the movie we wanted. And last but not least, Logan. You may think you must be missing something, yeah, because they're bad. I'm not going to own them, I'm not going to mention them, okay, let's move on. Ultimate Avengers movie collection include Ultimate Avengers, Ultimate Avenger 2, and Next Avenger, The Hero of Tomorrow. Now we go on to the real Marvel Studios, the Marvel Cinematic Universe. We start with the Phase 1, Iron Man, Incredible Hulk, Iron Man 2, Thor, Captain America, The First Avenger. To end up the Phase 1, Marvel's Avengers, the Target exclusive bonus disc. From Phase 2, we start Iron Man 3, Thor The Dark World, Captain America The Winter Soldier, the, the one that changed everything the game on Marvel Cinematic Universe. 
Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, love this movie. Avengers Age of Ultron. And to end phase two, Ant Man. Ton of fun. Really love that movie. I started Phase 3 by the first movie of Phase 3, that would be Captain America Civil War, which is a phenomenal movie. This is how you do it, Batman v Superman. This is how you do it. The last finale from Phase 3 is Doctor Strange. That's not all from Phase 3, there's more to come from Phase 3. We got Guardian Galaxy Volume 3, I mean, Volume 2 that's out in theaters. We have Spider-Man Homecoming, Thor Ragnarok, Black Panther, Avengers Infinity War, Captain Marvel. And so much more that's coming up for Phase Three to start with us. That is the all. That's all from Marvel Stu Marvel slash Marvel Studios. Now we're going to DC films. So we start off the DC EU with Man of Steel, which is okay. Batman v Superman, which is such a huge disappointment, but it's an okay film. And this Abomination. Hopefully Wonder Woman will be the savior of all DCU and hopefully it will be good. By the time recording, I probably already saw Wonder Woman. That I saw from DCEU, very small but short, they just got started doing the franchise. But we go to Batman stuff, we have Batman, the movie the 1960s, Adam West and Burt Ward. That's just a lot of fun. All the four Batman movies, Batman Batman, Batman Return, Batman Forever, and Batman Robin. The first two are amazing classics. And the last two we don't have to mention, including this one I'm pulling the finger on. We don't have to talk about that. It's weird because it's part of my childhood and I saw that as a kid. Ugh, sometimes I hate my childhood. And of course, the Dark Knight trilogy Batman Begins. The Dark Knight and then Dark Knight Rises. Top Watchmen, the director cut, one of my all-time favorite movies, probably my favorite adaptation for the comic from the graphic novel Watchmen. Now we go on to the DC animated films. First up is Superman Doomsday. Justice so League The New Frontier. The recent Wonder Woman. This is the question on to Earth. Batman, The Dark Knight Returns, Part 1 and Part 2. Superman Unbound. This is the, the Flashpoint Paradox. This is the War. Need to track down the zip cover. Son of Batman, Batman also on Arkham. Such as the Dawn of Atlantis, Batman vs. Robin, Such as the Gods and Monsters, Batman ba Bad Blood, not the Taylor Swift song. If you're mistaken, Justice League vs. Teen Titans, Batman the Killing Joke, Justice League Dark, and the recent up to date collection of Teen Titans The Judas Contract. The Death of Superman, Superman Lives, What Happened, Dread. Hellboy, Hellboy 2, sadly they're gonna reboot it, they're not gonna make a third movie, which is sucks because I really want to see the third movie and to end up a trilogy of the great, that's a great movie by Gilgamesh Kick Totoro. Kickass! And Kickass 2, sadly we're not gonna do the third movie. Ugh, sucks! Really want to end the trilogy again. They're planning to do a trilogy, but what? Oh well. Kiss Me in the Secret Service. They're making a sequel. The sequel is coming up. Really excited for the sequel. The League of Assorted Gentlemen. I like it. I don't care. Scott Pokemon vs. The Wolf. Oh, my, my other favorite adaptation. The Done Right. Fantastic. And, and another with the comic book, Sin City. 
we have Pim Pan D from my other favorite show, Net to Game of Domes. That is complete six, seven, eight, and nine seasons. I need to get the rest, the first five, and the tenth coming up this fall. That's all from the comic book movie. Now we go to my uh, my favorite genre of all time, hands down, sci-fi. The classic, my favorite, the masterpiece, 2001: A Space Odyssey. Prometheus, Alien, Aliens, Apollo 13, Attack the Block. Overrated films of all time, Avatar, now looking for the sequel, they should cancel it, I mean, we got Star Wars, they're gonna beat you guys. Back to the Future, my other favorite trilogy of all time include Back to the Future, Back to the Future Part 2, and Back to the Future Part 2, which I like. I don't care what everybody thinks, I like it. Close Encounter of the Third Kind, believe it or not, I have not seen it. I know, it's a Steven Spielberg film, I have to see it. Cloverfield, so good. Oh, superior sequel, Ten Cloverfield Lane. Stick Trick 9. Amazing. Edge of Tomorrow, Now Leave, Die, Repeat. That's not a title I was naming the movie. It's called Edge of Tomorrow, okay? Deal with it. Please make a sequel. Elysium. E.T. Gotta get the slip cover really soon. I mean, it's a masterpiece. I mean, come on. It's my favorite movie of all time. I own the VHS somewhere right there. It's part of my childhood. I watched the movie on VHS as a kid. Ex Machina. Awesome. We got the Star Wars booth from Family Guy. It includes Family Guy, The Blue Harvest, Something Something Dark Side, and It's a Trap. That was a lot of fun. The Star Trek spoof of Galaxy Quest. Rest in peace, Alan Rickman. Rest in peace. Gravity. Independence Day. I double dip. Independence Day. The re release, the, the extended cut. I'm a sucker for different cuts of the movies. Interstellar. So looking for Dunkirk. Are you excited for Dunkirk? Come below. It looks incredible. I love World War, World War II, World War One. You know, it's my favorite era. The Iron Giant. Finally, it's on Blu ray. Finally! It's my childhood favorite. I love this movie. Dr. by Brad Bird. It's amazing. It's amazing. The Island. I like it. Looper. The director is directing um, the new Star Wars movie, so we're in good hands. The Martian. Midnight Special. Minority Report. Fantastic movie. Moon. Pacific Rim. Looking forward for the sequel. Paul. Oh. I love this movie, it's a, it's not fun. Rise of the Planet of the Apes, fantastic. This is how you do a reboot or remake or reimagining. Awesome. And of course you gotta own Dawn of the Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. Can't wait for war for the Planet of the Apes that's coming out this July. And of course the five five film collection of the Planet of the Apes include Planet of the Apes, Beneath, Escape. Congress and battle. Predator. Robocop. Safety not guaranteed. So many. Still need to get Firefly on Blu-ray to complete the set of the stories. Fantastic movie, very underrated. Science, if you want a thinking movie, this is for you. Space Balls. <sighs> Classic. What can I say? This is how you do a spoof movie. A very clever joke. Oh, I love this movie for a reason. It's fantastic. Star Trek. Need to get the two disc collector edition because this is the bare bones edition. Star Trek Into Darkness. I kind of like this movie. I love the first movie. Star Trek Beyond. 
ton of fun. Ton of fun. Really enjoy that one. Stargate, the movie. Of course, we gotta talk about the Star Wars Complete Saga. Includes Phantom Menace, A Child of Clones, Red Man the Sith, which is the best, which is the best one out of the prequels. But the original, A New Hope, The Empire Strikes Back, my favorite, and Return of the Jedi. And a ton of bonus documentary and bonus features. Fantastic set. Of course, not complete with The Force Awakens. The original release, I kept that because it looks amazing on shelf. And of course, I got the double dip, the collector edition, the 3D. Oh, I love that cover. That's, that's an amazing cover. And of course, the recent Rogue One, a Star Wars story, story. I did a very in-depth blow review on this. Favorite movies of all time, Super 8. If you're a fan of the classic 80s, you know, coming of age, the Goonies, Stand By Me. This is the film for you. This is a sci-fi directed by J.J. Abrams. It's fantastic. Terminator. Terminator 2, Judgment Day. One of the best sequels. My favorite movie of all time, Next to Misery, Scott Pilgrim, Super 8. I mean, and Jurassic Park, Jaws. The thing. Ah. Uh. This movie had a lot of history on me, but man, this movie is fantastic. It came with the Screen Factory Edition, which is the most definitive edition. Man, this movie is creepy, atmospheric, but an amazing movie. Transformers! More than. Okay, so I gotta, I'm gonna stop. Transformers, the, the Transformers, the movie. Still book by Shouts Factory. Awesome. I like this movie. I I've seen this movie in the on TV. Um, I forgot of Jetix, something that whatever Fox kid. I forgot what channel it is. It was back in the day. They showed the movie. It's awesome. And of course we got the Michael Bay Transformers, the only Transformers movie that is actually really good. And the rest sucks. Why own this? I don't know. This was a gift. It was free, so. I'm not excited for the fifth movie that's coming out this summer, but I'm 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 eventually gonna see the movie. That's how it is. Summer, folks, it's summer. I will not forget my three box set on the shop on the top of the shelf. That's Casablanca, fantastic movie. Of course, this was an amazing gift for my mom from Christmas. The Iron Giant. This has been my wish list for a long time, and if I finally owned it. Amazing. It deserves a big collector edition. I own it. Thankfully, I own that. Thanks, Mom, if you're watching this. And I borrowed my Christmas money last year. Well, 2016 or 15. Gone with the win. A masterpiece. This movie is fantastic. That's all my three box set, box set gift set, whatever. I, I would love to get more. I would love to get Willy Wonka um, and many others like Ben Hur and all that. But. Those are the three main ones I love, especially Iron Giant, because in the middle, I love it. Okay guys, that completes my whole Blu-ray collection overview. I know, the Blu-ray, I have a lot of Blu-rays. I hope this is, I hope this isn't is in a long mo a video, but I hope you enjoy my Blu-ray collection overview, the 2017 edition. And, oh my god, I love I love collecting blues. I've been collecting blues for five years. It's been growing, growing, growing ever since. I mean, at the Criterion, Disney, Superior, Sci-Fi, it's been growing a lot. I mean, my blue waves have been growing a lot. It's fantastic. I'm so happy and I'm grateful that I own movies. Because one day when I'm growing up and have my own house, I want to create a movie library. A library that's all good movies to show. Yeah, that's a good movie to show. This is a good movie. This is the class to show all my collection. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Comment below the thing. What the thing? Any movies you want to think? What's your opinions on it? I know it's a lot, but you can choose one and talk about it. And I hope you have an awesome day. I hope you have a great summer. And let's begin with a great summer on this video. And see ya.